With COVID cases still rising among young people, a sobering story from Long Island. Teenager who says that she was on death's door returned today to the hospital, the doctors that saved her life, to warn other young people that this pandemic is not over. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports. Gratitude outside Cone Children's Hospital. It's so nice to see you. From Carla Duarte, after a full recovery from COVID, which was a long shot. A year ago, the Queens High School student was among the sickest. Her lungs were failing, even on a ventilator. I was a young person. I had no health conditions prior to me being sick with COVID, so I was in shock, honestly. I almost died because of COVID. It was heartbreaking words to hear because I was just 16. Doctors tried a last resort, never before used on a child with COVID. An ECMO machine, which filters the body's blood of carbon dioxide and adds oxygen, but it came with high risk of life-threatening complications. They told me this is a 50-50 chance. I risked it. I said, you know, do whatever you have to do in order to save her. Her body was relying on an artificial lung essentially for, it was probably, I think it was close to 10 days she was on. Um, and without it, she wouldn't have survived. It's now become um, much more common for uh, COVID that's not responsive to the, you know, first line therapies like ventilators and medications. It worked. One year ago, on April 19th, Carla recovered from COVID respiratory failure. Her story is a testament to the fact that young people are at risk. One of the things we have to do is dispel the myth that kids are immune from this illness. You know, we do see a lot of very sick children. We currently have sick children with COVID still in, in the hospital, in the ICU. Carla is now fully vaccinated and looks forward to a career in respiratory health. There will never be enough words or actions that I could thank the entire staff here. So many people that pitched in to do this miracle. Cone Children's Hospital is part of a national study into severe cases of COVID in children, trying to crack the mystery as to why some children, like Carla, fall so critically ill. Meantime, gratitude for her health care heroes <laughs> and for life. In New Hyde Park, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And Carla says that she is college bound after graduation <laughs> from high school. She has a lot to be excited about. Go get him, Carla. Yep.